how I integrated Octopus Intelligent Tariff with my smart home devices and also integrating with my electric central heating system. This will work with the Octopus Go Tariff as well, but obviously Octopus Intelligent has extra cheap off-peak slots which can be taken advantage of using, using this application it's for home for home assistant or, or smart home devices. To start off with, I had an old um, 3.6 kilowatt car charger with a good um, hol holster for holding your plugs. Um, I then purchased a um, Omi smart charger. I've had this now since 2019. But um, I stripped all the gubbins out of the old 3.6 charger and wired directly in the Omi charger and retaining the original holster for my plug. I then purchased a 0-50 amp current sensing relay and also a Sonoff um, smart switch, a mini smart switch, mini 2. Um, and in my case, I use a Zigbee one, but you can get this in Wi-Fi as well. As mentioned earlier, I removed all the gubbins out of the old 3.6 charger and connected up the Omi directly to the um, supply, the 32 amp supply. I then took the um, current sensing relay um, and put it through the live cable of the Omi feed cable. The, the smart um, current sensing relay is a bit like a CT clamp. I then put two wires, one from the K1 and one from the K2, into the Sonoff relay um, S1 and S2. I then took a live supply and ran it through a 2 amp fuse and put the live to the Sonoff mini relay and then added the neutral. This then finishes off the hardware, um, what is needed to turn on and off the um, smart, smart mini um with the octopus intelligent extra tariffs so when the current sensing relay picks up current going to the car it switches the sun off relay on i then set automations to switch on rather um, heating circuit when the car is charging or or my second 3.6 kilowatt charger that i have and in the winter months i will have it so it switches on the infrared heaters and boost the heat in the, in the house during the um, off extra off peak time. So that's outside the hours of 11.30 and p.m. and 5.30 in the morning. As usual, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions about this video or after some advice on how to carry out the installation, please ask in the comments section below.